So in code pipeline, actions is where all the magic happens. And so there's a lot of possible actions for you to take and actions are not restricted to specific stages. So if you want to have a deploy action in your build stage, you can definitely do so. Pipelines are only limited by your creativity and you can create custom actions if you need functionality beyond this list. And so let's get into the uh, available actions to us. So we have source. So this is where we're pulling uh, code from some uh, repository. We have code commit, ECR, S3. Uh, they now have support for Bitbucket, which is uh, long overdue, and GitHub. Uh, then you have your test actions. Uh, the most common ones you're going to be using are code build and uh, Jenkins. Uh, but you can see we have a bunch of other ones there. Uh, and these are for building uh, and generally for uh, building code and then running test suites and getting test coverage. Then you have your deploy actions, uh, the most popular being CloudFormation and code deploy. Uh, and then we have a bunch of other ones there like Elastic Beanstalk, Alexa Skill Kit, and to Amazon S3. And then our last uh, code pipeline action here is to invoke a Lambda, uh, very underappreciated, very uh, useful. Uh, action in the code pipeline process. Uh, and there's a bit of overlap here because in step functions, you can uh, ch uh, chain a lot of lambdas together, or even a lambda, you can have a source destination cha uh, chain them. But you know, uh, you have to think about the context of uh, what code pipeline is. And so if it's for CI CD, it makes sense to use lambdas uh, there. Uh, so yeah, that's all the actions.